Whitley here and welcome to the Slap Bass uh, Lick Library. Uh, this is lesson two, we're going to look at lick number two. Now this lick is, um, it's, a, it's an A minor lick and um, it's, it's at, um, you know, a fair tempo, sort of a hundred and we're at here, 115 BPM, all right, nice kind of dancey tempo. And um, it starts like this, here we go. So we start, oddly enough, with an open E slapped, and then we hammer on to the A, which is the fifth fret on the E string, and then we do another slap, and then a pull on the seventh fret on the D string. So I'll just talk you through that again. So it's open E, slapped, hammered onto the 5th fret on the E string, then you hold that and slap it, and then you do a pull on the 7th fret on the D string. Okay. Then the next part you play is um, you play the fifth fret on the D string, it's a flat seven in the key of A, and you slap that, and then you hammer that onto the seventh fret on the D string, and then you play a muted slap, so you sort of lift your finger slightly off, so it's just touching the string, and slap it. So here we go. Okay, let's play what we've got so far with the drum machine. Here we go. Slow this right down. That's to 53 BPM, okay. Set that then even slower to uh, 40 BPM. One, two, three, four. One more time. Dog. So the next thing we play is um, a pull on the fifth fret on the G string, which is a minor third in the key of A. Now let me just check this. Yeah, so we do that pull and then we do a hammer on to the seventh fret on the D string. So that's a pull on the fifth fret on the G string, a hammer on to the seventh fret on the D string. So the whole thing together with the drum machine very slowly. One, two, three, four. So the next part, okay, is um, a hammer on from the, the, the fifth fret on the D string. You slap that and then you hammer that onto the seventh fret. So that goes like this. A bit clearer. So let's just run that really slowly from the top. Here we go. One. Two, three, four. Okay, so after the hammer on, uh, we do two ghost uh, notes, so you basically hold the strings lightly without fr actually pressing on, just lightly touching the strings, and you, um, you, you do a slap and a pull, like this. Uh, 
Okie doke. So in the context of the bass line, that sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Did you hear it at the end there? One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, the next part we play is uh, very similar to on the um, on the A, but we're moving the chord now to D. Okay, the piano chord on the backing track goes to D. You can download the backing track for free in the link below, by the way. So here we go. Um, we go. Uh, so this is after the the two ghost notes. You slap an open A, and then you hammer on to the fifth fret on the A string. Then you hold that and slap that note again and then pluck or pull the seventh fret on the G string. So that's like this. Uh, so let's try and put that together. Here we go. One, two, three, four. time. Three, four. Okay. Um, the next thing we do is a little dead slap. So after the, uh, we do a, a dead slap like that. Okay. Let me just play that this at full speed uh, for a minute, just to get my own head around what I'm doing here. Hang on. Yeah. So let's try that with the drum machine. A one, two, three, four. So it's on that snare, that last uh, dead note. Here we go again. Okie doke. So we've just got a little bit left. Let me... Uh... Yeah, that's right. Okay, so the last, last bit is a muted pull. Okay, so you're just lightly touching the strings, uh, no notes, just lightly. Pull, and then you slap the fifth fret on the A string, and then pull the octave of that, which is the seventh fret on the G string, and then slide that up to the seventh fret on the A string, and you pull the uh, ninth fret on the G string. Let's try and string the whole thing together. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Sorry, a little mistake there. Sorry. Okay, uh, so if you're comfortable with that, we'll try, uh, try it a little bit faster. I mean, it might take quite a long time. You might even need to pause the video and just kind of work through, um, you know, the, 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 mo the movements we're making um, until you're comfortable with it. Um, and then speed it up um, kind of 5, 10 B BPM at a time, work along with the drum machine, of course, or a metronome. But here we go, if you feel up to it, 
Uh, that's at 40 BPM. Let's take it up to uh, 60. And let's give it a go. One, two, three, four. Okay, we'll try a little bit faster still. Try it at 80 BPM. 85, let's go for it. A one, two, three, four. Faster, let's do it at um, 105. Here we go. One, two, three, four. faster still, uh, let's take it up to the full tempo of 115 BPM, here we go, one, two, three, four. So that's the thing, as I say, it's, it's always a case of starting slowly and building up. If you can practice along with a drum machine or a, a metronome, it's a really, really good idea. Uh, there's plenty of free ones, you can get apps, metronome apps, uh, drum machine apps for your phone, uh, plenty of free ones on the web um, that you can use on your PC, etc. So, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if I could just ask you to do one massive favour, if you've enjoyed this lesson or any of my other lessons, please, please, please just share uh, this lesson or any of the other lessons uh, on Facebook, Twitter, um, or, or, or you know through email. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Help spread the word. Brilliant. In the meantime, have fun with it, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Cheers. Bye.